Hi there, uh, welcome back to Predator Pre Online. Uh, I'm Gar, uh, thanks for coming back, uh, humouring me. Uh, today we're going to rehouse uh, a Pokey, so a Postal Etheria on Arta, and I'm going to show you that they're not as bad as, uh, as people make up they are. Alright, guys, enjoy. This is the uh, the tank from the Hectoscodra Macalata, the juvenile male. Unfortunately, it uh, passed away. Uh, before it's maturing molt as well, so I was a bit gutted about that, but uh, it was meant to be obviously to pair up with my adult female there, but uh, thanks to anyway from Gav from Vice Transchlers I managed to find a, a male for it anyway, so uh, that's all good. Uh, still a bit gutted, but it's been to got a spare tank and I've been having a look around and there's an ornata, so a post theory ornata. just here that's gone a bit mouldy, it's gone a bit green in there. So what I want to do is I'm just want, I'm going to change them out basically. Now there's coir, everything's fine in there, so there's a water bowl, a cork bark tube and uh, some coir. I'm just going to change the coir out, give the cork bark a good clean of all the all the uh, the max webbins and then give the water bowl a good clean out give the tank a good clean up with just water and a kitchen roll and elbow grease so you really really don't want any kind of detergent on uh, contact with any of your spiders so I've got a rule in here that there's no detergents of any kind so uh, nothing at all not even fairy liquid or anything like that nothing cool that needs a good clean, stinking. Take this out. It's actually really not too bad in there. What we'll do, we'll just give it a good, get uh, the worst of it off. They don't really care. I mean, uh, the Ornata will make its own webbings in there anyway, but it just looks a bit better, that's all, doesn't it? Water bowl. I might actually just chuck that water bowl because it's all uh, it's got like uh, lime scale on the inside of it from dried water. And let's get rid of all this. <laughs> get rid of all this uh, coir, uh, old coir substrate. Need something to put it in. Uh, okay, cool. That's just one completely empty tub. Oh, and then lost it there. Now, when it's dry, you just get the worst off it. That's the kitchen door. Coir sticks to the glass as well if it's been damp for a while. So let's get the worst off. Chuck that in here. And I just want to give it a spray with some water on the inside. Everywhere all over the walls. comes up pretty nice with just a bit of elbow grease. And it doesn't need to be perfect. At the end of the day I just want to get the most of the poop off it.
Yeah, that'll do for me. Um, oh yeah. Do this. See the inside of the glass. And the majority of like the dust and stuff will come off it as well. It makes it look much much better straight away. Okay, cool. So we've got everything we need. We can get rid of the uh, obviously the uh, the label. I'm not going to need the label on there anymore. <laughs> cool, and then what I need to do then is I'm going to use topsoil for this one. Soil and a little bit of coir mix that I like to use. What is that? It's a stone. <laughs> I thought it was like a slug or something. Huh? It won't take much. the moss there. That should be fine. Ah, near enough to perfect. Oh, it's getting heavy for that glass top now. Okay, so... Big water bowl. Let me put this down in the front of you. There we are, happy days, so that's done. Literally as simple as you can get it. Simply uh, as simple as it can be done. Uh, now I usually put some like sphagnum moss and things, but I've noticed with all the other ones it just dries out really quickly. And then uh, it looks like shit. It looks crap. And the, the spiders tend to move it about, bury it. It's yeah, cool. So we're gonna try and do this as easy as possible. And I can show you the spider. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, so the spider, and you can see now if I, it's going to bolt now I bet, the spider's there, and then you can see all the inside, it's got all mould, and it's gone green, so uh, I'll just get this done as quick as possible now. it actually looks like a juvenile male uh, really dull coloration uh, 
and show you because these are kind of sexually dimorphic and as soon as they start to, to get a little bit older So you can see, look at that, so that's the dull coloration. Onata now are not like that, so a female Onata would not look like that. But, that's just my thinking. I'm yet to, I said it was ventrally male as well, but I'm yet to have a molt that I can actually sex properly. But, um, there we are, that's her rehoused. Postal theory, eh? Not as bad as people make out they are. And we'll just pop the lid down. And then label it. And then that's us done. That's that one now, uh, all rehoused. Uh, it'll go onto the top shelf um, with the rest of the pokies. Uh, so there wasn't that bad, was it? You know, uh, it's gonna, it looks like a juvenile male. Uh, so if any of you guys need a male for an onata, let me know. Um, so I'll, I'll let you know when it molts, and we can work out some kind of deal. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Keep coming back to the channel, and obviously press the button, the bell button, isn't it, for notifications. Um, I've got uh, a Patreon, and uh, the Southern Invert Show is going to be on the 18th of December. So coming up really really quickly um, there's still some spiderlings left if you guys want to buy any and stay safe cheers guys take care